Hi, Sonja here from Winter Growers. Today we're going to show you how to make lab serum. Lab stands for lacto acid bacteria and it's the good kind of bacteria that you want when you want to make yogurt for example, kimchi, sauerkraut, sour cream, everything sour. It's good for um, our digestion and it's also good for the cannabis plants and um, plus you can buy the stuff in the store but it's really expensive and this version, the DIY version that we will show you, is not. So what do we need for this? We need rice water, which is basically the water that you uh, collect when you are washing rice. The milky kind of water that you are normally discarding, that's what we are keeping and this is the base of the whole thing. And you fill this in a jar about two thirds full and then cover it with, um, we used just a handkerchief here. Um, you put a rubber band around it so it doesn't fly away. And you put it in a place that is not in direct sunlight and in uh, well room temperature. That's what they like. So you put it in a place that is dark-ish at room temperature. And you wait for three to five days. And then I will show you what the next step is going to be. This year is already four days old and what the next step is just going to mix it with raw milk at a ratio of one to 10. So we need one part of this rice, fermented rice water and 10 parts of raw milk. Uh, they say that you're not supposed to use pasteurized milk and um, we are not, we, we are using raw milk, but I have tried it with just the normal milk from the store and it works as well. So I just did a little bit of quick math. Um, I'm more familiar with milliliters as you might be able to hear by my accent. So a half gallon jar is about two liters. We want to leave it um, or fill it only up to two thirds. So that brings us to about 1,400. And if we do the 10 part milk, one part rice, fermented rice water, then we add another 140 milliliters of this stuff here. And also everything, the recipe, etc., is going to be in the description. So, but before you do the mixing, you want to get rid of the top layer that you um, will see develops on the, on the surface. And it's important to not shake the jar before you try to remove this layer. Unfortunately, uh, we did shake it up a little bit and so it's not going to be that easy to remove the, the top film. But uh, in an ideal scenario, uh, you would not move the jar before you start making lab and then you just take 140 milliliters and fill it in this one. So. it and I fill it up to about a thousand and four hundred milliliters with the raw milk you can support your local farmer also your bacteria are not going to say no I, I can't work in these conditions if you are a little over or a little under um, now either you go back to the method of like using a handkerchief or a cheesecloth or you're going to use these really handy silicon lids that keep dust, flies, whatever out, but still allow your mix here, your serum to breathe because it does have a little opening. So it's like a little valve. Now this again goes into a spot out of direct sunlight, room temperature, and you give it about three to five days and then you will see how the liquid separates into two parts. There's a top layer that will look a little bit like, yeah, like cottage cheese almost. And then the liquid underneath, that is the stuff that we are after. But we gotta wait a little bit and then I will show you how to move on from there. It's been about a week and you can definitely tell that the separation of like the top layer and the bottom layer has started. The top is, starting to become solid but uh, it's been really cold here and that's why we're not quite um, at the point yet where 
we want to harvest our serum. You really want like a strong top layer that looks a lot like cottage cheese, I think, and it floats a bit like an island on the whole um, lab serum. And the bottom part is also supposed to, when it's ready, be much more transparent and not quite as milky. And then what you're going to do is when it's ready, when the top layer is strong and solid and this part here is not milky anymore, you just take off the top, you can discard it. I think you can feed it to your animals. You probably could eat it as well, but I'm not going to advise that. Um, and then you can use the, the serum part, for example, for foliar spray. And um, you would use a dilution of like one to a thousand. So like example, one milliliter of um, lab serum with a thousand milliliters of water. If you liked what you saw, then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. There will be more videos coming. One that you should definitely check out is the one on fermented plant extract, which you can use in combination with this stuff. Lactic acid bacillus? Oh, what did I say? Bacillus? Yeah, okay, bacteria. Say yogurt. Go, roll. Just do the thing. Lactobacillic, lactoacid bacteria. Yeah. Mm -hmm.